Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I put out videos every week about wire art and jewelry making. And today we're making a project that was inspired by a live stream I did a couple of weeks ago to make a wrap around lariat necklace. So I have two styles of this lariat necklace. This one is just all beads with just a regular bead on the end. And then this one is made with like a little focal bead. And how you put them on is I just have them wrap around my neck like that. And then I'll just stick that one in here to wear it. But you could also wear them as like a long necklace that hangs down. So what you're going to need for this project is I have some thinner uh, one millimeter uh, waxed cotton cord. I'm going to use blue this time. I have a variety of beads that have a pretty decent size hole in them. These are mostly uh, eight millimeter beads. I have extra large crimps. I'll put a link in the description where to buy those. And uh, that's pretty well it. So now for the cord, I cut it extra long because sometimes the cord will fray when you add the crimps to it. So I started with an, uh, I think it's uh, 36 inches of cord that I cut. And so you're going to start with that. And then what you want to do is you want to make like a little kind of loop at the end. So you'll be able to add your focal bead. So let's go ahead and put one of these crimps on here. And then we're just going to bend the end back into the crimp and this might be a little tricky so that the the um, cord doesn't fray so this is where you you know you want to cut an extra long piece of cord in case you know it frays along the way so I just made like a little loop like this put the end back through the crimp I left a little bit extra because I really don't want it to pull out you can put two crimps if you want just to make it super extra secure so that's our starting point and then we want to just space the beads along the uh, the cord so what we're going to do is put a um, crimpy bead and then I like to put them about an inch apart so you can measure if you want with your ruler uh, you can also eyeball it if it doesn't have to be perfectly spaced. So about an inch away from that one, we're just going to give it a little pinch. And then basically we just add beads. So we'll add uh, maybe sort of a medium sized bead. I might want to put a fancy one on there. So I'll put this one on here. Uh, careful that it doesn't fray. Find the hole. We'll just stick it through there and then we'll put another crimp. Yeah, this is why I, I um, cut it extra long because at some point I will have to trim that end as it frays a little bit. So we're just going to go like that and then crimp it on the other side. So see, we have our first one and then we're just going to keep adding crimps and beads until we get to about the length that we want. And um, then I'll just show you the next step. So I have about 21 beads on this. There's a little less beads than my other one just because I think I spaced them more apart. And then what you want to do at this point is you want to loop this end. So we're going to go ahead and put a little crimp on the end just like that and then you want to like go up a couple of beads uh, probably up one two and then around here we're going to take the end and then just loop it back through the crimp like that and then this is also going to depend on you know if you have a wide neck or not you can always adjust it how you like and so I just did like a little loose a loop on here and you could even make it like a little bigger so the focal bead will fit through it as well and then you're just going to go ahead and do like a little 
a little pinch there. So we'll just pinch it. And then just cut the end. It doesn't have to be cut too close to that. Okay, like that. And then we're going to get our focal bead and just hook it onto the end with the jump ring. So we just have our jump ring. We'll just hook it onto there and then hook it onto the first loop that we did on the lariat. Close it up. So here's the finished lariat necklace with the focal bead. And next week I'm going to show you how to make that special focal bead. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the little notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. Also, if you would like to share photos of your work, I have a Facebook group called the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club where we share photos of our work and we inspire each other with different design ideas. And if you don't have Facebook, be sure to email me photos of your work and I will share them on the community section of my YouTube channel. You can email them to info at heatherboydwire.com. And if you would like to purchase some of our wire art and jewelry, I'll put a link below to my Etsy shop. We make uh, custom wire jewelry and wedding cake toppers. And if you would just like to support me on Patreon to support the projects that I do, I do all kinds of fun projects, not just for wire art and jewelry. I write comics, I do mixed media art, I do all kinds of creative stuff. So if you would like to support that creative venture, I'll put my uh, Patreon links below as well. So thanks uh, everybody for watching. Always thank you for all your support and we will see you the next time.